Hey guys, so this is actually my third time trying to record this video. The first time my frame rate was acting weird in my other recording program, and the second time it went really well, except that I realized that my audio was not set right. So with that said, um, I'm just going to go through my uh, package opening again real quick. So I'm sorry that some things are already open, so the suspense isn't really as genuine, but I'm going to tell you right now that the items are really awesome. I'm going to kind of go through them really quickly. Um, today is the day that I'm kind of packing and getting ready to go on my Easter trip for tomorrow with my family. So, um, yeah, let's let's get right into it. This is the April um, edition of Art Snacks for 2015. So I'll cover up my address there. Not that you can really see it. So. Um, this is Art Snacks. As usual, they give you art supplies and their snack, which is usually just like a piece of candy or something. Um, last two months, the first month was February, I got like candy hearts for Valentine's, and then last month was a root beer flavored dum dum. This time, they presented me with a double bubble, bubble gum. Um, these are always fun. I just, I don't really chew bubble gum anymore, but, um, you know, you never know. A little bit of gum goes a long way, and, you know, who, who doesn't love blowing bubbles? So, I kind of have everything loose in here right now. I don't know where I just set the card for this, which would help me. Let's see, I just flipped it in here. I did. Awesome. So, I already took examples of each thing, so I can show you kind of immediately what's what. First things first, they usually wrap them up in the green tissue, um, the items. Um, I ran ahead and unraveled that, so, and then they have a sticker telling you that you can share um, your unboxing with them using um, at Art Snacks on different social media sites, Tumblr, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, or hashtag Art Snacks. And they will see, and if they like your stuff, they will share it and like it. Um, so the first thing that wasn't wrapped in here because it didn't fit because of the packaging is the Pentel Arts Aquash. It's a watercolor brush or water brush, and it's got this little well you can fill up ink or water, which um, I'll open the little package real quick. It's flat on both sides, so it doesn't roll away. And um, you fill this with the liquid and it will feed into the pen tip or marker tip, brush tip, whatever. And it's pretty, pretty nice. It works like a brush. So not quite exactly like a marker, like it's like a marker watercolor almost. And it's really soft and it'll feed through there. And it's great for when you're doing art on the go. Um, so you don't have to worry about water and stuff and making a huge mess. Um, watercolor or watercolor pencils be awesome with, which is what the next thing it came with to try out were two watercolor pencils in brown and yellow. Um, and they're also by, um, these are Pentelic. So the brush is Pentel, this is Pentelic, and they're watercolor brushes, brown and yellow. And, um, they're supposed to be pretty good for layering, blending, and texturing. And um, yeah, so they're pretty water soluble. I haven't tried them w with the brush yet because I just haven't had a chance. But you can see all my other example squiggles. But that's the color brown and yellow. And then let's see what comes after that brown and yellow watercolor pencils, and then we have the pen, which is good for illustrating. It's called the Zig Millennium Fine Point Pen. This is made by a company um, called Kiritake in Japan. Um, I mentioned this in my last video. This is a color of pure black. Um, they said that this pigment is meant to kind of last a lifetime, and it's very fine. I don't know. You can see how fine that is. Like, he barely picks up the black tip. Let me see if I can dot myself. That's, like, small. Um, and um, I'm pretty impressed with it overall. Um, it's acid-free archival 
quality pure pigment color. So this is like something, if you want to make something to last, you would use it. So all those black little chicken scratches I've got here, it doesn't even pick up on the camera nearly how old it really is, but it's actually very well pigmented um, and fine. So there's that. The next one after that would be, um, you think I would remember since I just did this two other times before. <laughs> So this is the Chart Pack AD marker. This is huge. Um, highly detailed architectural renderings to therapeutic mixed media drawings. This marker means business. It's heavy duty marker, great for outlining or coloring in large areas. And it says that the special cone shape of this marker is designed to keep its shape perfectly intact in case, you know, you know marker tips that fray from too much pressure or overuse. They say, don't mess with this marker. I also say, be careful of a long exposure to this marker because I think you can get high from the smell of the fumes. It says it's non-toxic, but it reminds me of one of those super strong permanent markers that I used to use. It's really, yeah. This is the color Scarlet, but it really does come off in like this orangey red brown color. So don't be fooled if you're thinking Scarlet it's it's not so red it's more of like an orange brown with a red hue so it's like a warm red brown um it actually looks more red to me on the paper here than it probably shows up on camera um so that's this color it kind of looks it, i mean it's got a red color to it but to me it really does show it's like more orange tones in it so scarlet is that color but it does create really nice lines um, I have to say that I I do like the tip on it it's kind of a pain to take the lid on and off but I guess you know a little bit of exercise never hurt anyone to muscle around um, I'm really kind of impressed with this package overall just because it came with the brush the two pencils and then three pens this being the third one this is called the Le Plume 2 Dual Tip Marker. This is made by a company out of also out of Japan called Marvi. Um, I was also very impressed by this because the color is very true to what the lids are. Normally I see like the color beige, which is what this is, um, to be a little more brown in color than what the, the caps usually show or the examples are. But this is very true um, to its example. Um, this is also very fine tipped like the Millennium marker that I showed you before. And then this side is the brush tip. That looks very brown, but in fact it does not come off that way. In fact, it comes off very beigey, like sandy. You can see those colors right there. Brush tip. You can barely, this is all the fine tip right here, right here and here. These are just like hash, just cross hatch, just like this. You can almost barely see that. I have to push like this up in the camera for you to even see. It looks so light, but it it actually is true to its color. Like I don't know if I can show you just how much I mean. I mean, just look at that. It blends with the cap. So that's that. Um, I really encourage anyone who is interested in trying new mediums and utensils for their art stuff. Check out Art Snacks. Um, Sign up for a month subscription and try it out um, because you never know what you're going to get. Um, this time I also got a sticker and a patch last time. This is another sticker with their logo. So they make sure to make remind you who's providing you with the awesome, which is really cool. And um, yeah, that's it. Make sure that you try out uh, like the Art Snacks Challenge and post your art of whatever you've made um, on your social media with a picture and the hashtag Art Snacks Challenge. Um, direct it to Art Snacks at Art Snacks or hashtag Art Snacks online, Tumblr, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever social media that you use, they're probably present. Um, so yeah, you can get yourself seen and show them. There's um. Art Snacks also has kind of like a um, an art um, blog 
and you can submit to them and it's almost like a living museum of a bunch of people's different artwork so um, there's a lot of cool stuff just to look at on there so I would definitely check it out too just to see what other people have done in general it's really kind of inspiring so other than that this is the box again for April and I just want to wish you guys happy Easter thanks for checking out the box with me um, I sound like a spaz right now because I'm trying to rush through it I kind of got other stuff I need to do it's like almost 420 in the afternoon and I need to wrap up what I'm doing so yeah I will check you guys later have a happy Easter or whatever holiday that you're celebrating um yeah I'll see you later